Deputy. Sure. Uh, sorry, Matthew Lee, Inner City Press, on behalf of the Free UN Coalition for Access. Thanks for for doing this briefing. Uh, I wanted to ask: is, Last time you were here, the the whole um, Anglap saying John Ash thing had just broken, and you you were kind enough to answer some questions. Now that there's more detail in, in the OIOS audit, I wanted to ask you a few things because as as impacts the budget, one is. The, 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 several, the first of all, there, there's a recommendation that goes to the Department of Management. So if you can, I'd like to know whether, whether that's yet been implemented. But there are a couple of instances in which events that took place in the UN are, descri are not, the financial aspect has not gotten into. One, for example, was the sponsorship by Englap Sang's Glo Global Sustainability Foundation of the, the event uh, opening the slavery memorial, Ark of Return, outside. And it said that DPI it's claimed that it didn't have really a role in doing due diligence, and OIOS said that they did have a role. But what I wonder is how are, how are donations like that, the sponsoring of an event that the Secretary General and many others attend, how is this accounted for in the UN budget? And secondarily, there's a, there's a DM. There was an event that was held in the lobby uh, uh, of the, the visitor's lobby on June 30th, 2015, called uh, the Transformative Power of Art that the OIOS audit says was improperly done, had a single art. And, and there was no due diligence done. But there's a, there was a role in that for the Assistant Secretary General of the Office of Central Support Services, which I believe is under, under you. So in that, how, how does an event take place, again, with the Secretary General present in the visitor's lobby without Department of Management approving it? Or did you approve it? I mean, how did, how did it take place? Thank you. Thank you very much for the question. First of all, so long as the money is coming to the UN Trust Fund, there is a system of uh, auditing and reporting. In terms of this uh, special the donation that made by foundation that you're talking about to this, uh, this anti-slavery memorial, uh, there is a trust fund to which uh, the contribution came. And uh, there is responsibility of so-called, uh, the we call the program managers of, uh, of this uh, trust fund. In case of uh, this case, the DPI is responsible for this one. And uh, the program manager of that each trust fund uh, is responsible to make sure that the contribution they are receiving uh, is uh, legitimate and then for, uh, meeting to the objective of, of this. And also not only receiving, but uh, spending on this one. And all this, uh, the how to call it, who has contributed what and how this, this spend is reported in the financial statement of each trust fund. The no. question is that when it goes outside this uh, meaning uh, the outside uh, the UN mechanism, very, very difficult for us to know. That's why one of the recommendations of the panel, that Secretary General, which has been now discussing in working, work, discussed in working group in General Assembly, is to encourage member states to, to go through UN channel. So therefore, it's a full accountability and other things. And the second question is about uh, this use of uh, this uh, public uh, space inside uh, UN uh, premises for exhibition and other things. Uh, there are uh, obviously uh, this uh, responsibility. Uh, some parts, part of the space is under the DPI, some parts is OCSS. And there is a mechanism uh, to, to, to receive application and it must be approved and checked. And then only, one, on, only with this approval, uh, this, uh, they can organize. Uh, there could be some instances, uh, I don't know particular cases that you're talking about, uh, which may be organized without this proper uh, due diligence, I mean procedure. Obviously, that is uh, the very regrettable. But at the same time, we are trying to, uh, how do you call this, uh, improve or strengthen the oversight of those, uh, the, the, how do you call this, uh, approval procedure. Because very often, uh, that very sensitive matters and other things uh, is not receiving attention of these uh, responsible people. So therefore that, uh, you know, instead of uh, just uh, handling, it's an uh, entry level that must be properly hard -core vetted with uh, responsible officers. We are tightening the oversight on that. Can I, I just want to ask one follow-up? Because I, I do understand that for Ark of Return, there was a trust fund, and they, they separately discuss how that money was spent on a lunch end to raise money for the thing. But they also, in, in paragraph 20B, they talk about Global Sustainability Foundation sponsoring the opening of it, i.e., I guess, I don't know how much it costs. They put out the seats, they have a sound system, the Secretary General goes, and that doesn't seem to be part of that 60000 the $60,000. So it didn't, what I wanted to know, and it may be a more general question, when events like that are held, say, in front of the General Assembly entrance, and the Secretary General goes, what does it mean to say it's sponsored by an outside group? Does that mean the sponsor is paying for UN security costs? What is it, do you see what I'm saying? Like, it seems to be a kind of a loose 
uh, it's an event that they sponsored. What did they pay? Like the, the, the audit doesn't make it clear, but I'd like you to, as a budgetary matter, clearly there are things that are taking place that are not accounted for in any trust funds, but are taking place on the UN campus and that, that in this case had a, an indicted individual sp sponsoring an event where the Secretary General was the main speaker. Well, the independent uh, you know, uh, panel uh, has uh, reviewed this issue and uh, the issue that, uh, how do you call it, the external uh, entity, not only member state, but uh, NGO and other things, a private corporation even, uh, that's not to discourage, that shouldn't be. There are a lot of activities that the UN need, you know, even private corporation to do this one. But there has to be proper betting procedure on this one. So therefore, our recommendation here is that, I mean, this in this context, is to try to make it uh, as much as possible through UN at channel. In other words, for instance, this is kind of, kind of, there are two types of contribution. Contribution in finance, money, financial contribution, and contribution in kind. To organize some event, for instance, by their own sponsorship, we don't know. It's just a thing happens. The lunch happens, or took place, whatever happens. But our recommendation is to make financial contribution to the trust fund, and then through the trust fund, you use this. So therefore, all the standard how to call this uh, expenses and other things uh, have to be in a, in a UN standard. Otherwise, if it's contribution kind, we are not paying anything, so we don't know. That that is not uh, very very you know because transparent. So our recommendation is try to discourage this as much as possible to make through the UN trust fund. That's I think the way that we should go.